everyone welcome to garden yarns my name is Chris Christine and this is where we talk about anything knitting crochet and yarn related uh, thank you for joining me today I really appreciate it today is Saturday January 30th and this is episode 23 uh, today I will talk about making uh, hats on my Addy machine I have an uh, update on the blue blanket, and I have the update on the pink sweater, and I just cast it on for the Ross hat, and I do have exciting news. I am featured in another giveaway. Woohoo! So let's dive right in, shall we? Sorry about that. I just didn't want to forget anything. Oh, and I also made some new things with my Cricut Joymaker. So I think I will get started with my hats. I've seen a lot of videos lately on YouTube about people enjoying their adding machine and I've had one for a couple of years but never really played around with it too much recently. So I thought I'd dig it out and give it a go. This was the first hat I made. This one fits a little snug. This is the Bernie Premium Yarn, but it is fairly warm because it's double layered. I believe this is the lavender color from the Bernie Premium Collection. So that was my first hat. There is a mistake in there, but I was able to hide it. So I thought that turned out really cute. I think I need to work on my tension a little bit there, but we're getting there. And this was a different it was still Bernay yarn, but it was a different brand. It was a Bernay Cozy style. And this pretty blue color. Sorry for the wrestling. This is 100% acrylic, 16 ounces, uh, 1,015 yards, or 920 meters. Uh, this is called Bright Blue. And I believe I got this at Walmart for about $10 a ball. And yes, like I said, there's 16 ounces or 454 grams. Apparently this is a little stretchier than the Brene Premium yarn. And I ended up with a wider brim. I did the same measurement about 23 inches. I believe that's what Crystal from Bagel Day does. She measures, but I believe it was 152 stitches using the row counter on the Addy machine. That's my Addy up there. So this was my second hat. I didn't like the wide brim on this one, but extra thickness, it will keep you warm as well. So I did 115 rows on my third try. And this does have a lot more give as you can see this brand. And I got a little bit less of a brim on this one. Or you can always wear it down like that as well. You don't have to wear a brim. Uh, fold it up. So it'll be a little bit more of a slouchy hat there. But yes, very nice. The blue hats I might donate to Hat Not Heat that Lion Brand is sponsoring right now. Uh, the bullying campaign. I'll try to be... Uh, more information in the description box down below but that's what I worked on this some of what I worked on this week those three hats and you may remember I was working out of my book my pen is trying to roll away the Debbie Bliss book that I am making this pretty cardigan here. I am using Bernay Premium in the colorway Rose Pink. That's it there. And I've actually made quite a bit of progress this week on this. Got my knitting needle down. I got the 
front and the back panels done. And this was worked all on one piece. This is a 9 to 12 month old. I don't know if the armholes look a little big, but I'm sure it'll all work out in the end once I do the sleeves. Which I just started on the first sleeve today, actually. And this requires four millimeter knitting needles and four and a half. You use the smaller needles just in the ribbing. So that's coming along quite nicely. That'll be cute when it's finished. And I probably should place a marker on here so I know how many rows I did since the last time. But I haven't, but I have made progress. Probably about an inch or so since last time. And this is using the monster ball from Mary Maxim. And I believe it's the seed stitch or granite stitch. Where you single crochet in this base, chain one single crochet in the next base. Okay, and there's that. Oh yes, Brene Cozy style yarn was the only yarn I did buy this week, so I do still um, pretty good, I think. Excuse me. And then I've seen uh, some people doing the Ross hat as well, so I thought I'd give that a go. It's a free website on his blog. And I only just cast it on this evening, so I only got one round done. I didn't have the five millimeter needle, so I had the five and a half, so hopefully that won't affect my gauge too much. And I'm using the soft head there's from Brene Premium Yarn. And I only just got started on that, so I'm not too far in yet. Sorry about that. I didn't do, uh, sorry, I should say I did do another straight from my Jada and Stitches blanket. But I had to tear it out because, excuse me, I picked up the wrong hook. It was using the 5mm crochet hook instead of the 5.5. And that actually made my strip about two and a half inches shorter. So, and I wanted it to be all the same, so I decided to rip it out and I haven't done it back since. So maybe I'll t this week I'll do one or two more stripes. And now for the exciting time, uh, we'll now be talking about the giveaway. It'll be coming in this box. It's Michael's box, but it fits everything nicely. I hope you guys will like it. You will get four balls of comfy worsted weight yarn called Zinnia. This is 100 yards and 50 grams. And this is by Knit Picks. I had it for to do the ponchos, and I decided I'm not going to use this yarn for anything else. I thought someone else might enjoy it. So there's four balls. And then I also have some white. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is just called white. This is actually shine worsted. And there's, including this one, there's six. And 
this, there's still more. This is nitpicks also, and again, comfy worsted, and this is called fairy tale. And this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six as well. This is a brand that I used to make those ponchos out of. You might remember that a while back. So that's what the winner will receive. Uh, this contest is only open to Canada and the United States. I will pay to ship it out to your residence. But if there's any duties or fees, that would be your responsibility. Uh, this contest will run on till this coming Tuesday, which is February 2nd, 21. I'll make the draw in the evening, sometime about 7.30 my time. Um, cause that's a good time that I like usually like to record at. And I guess the one question I was going to ask to leave in the comment to be entered in the contest would be, I'd like to hear what everybody's working on lately. So again, I thank you for joining me and I hope y'all enjoy the contest as well. And until next time, take care and I hope everybody has a great week. Talk, see you Tuesday. Thank you. Bye. Hello again, it's Christine from Garden Yarns. I did forget to show you what I made with my Cricut today. Well, the last couple days. I picked up this cute mug at my local Walmart. And this was a paid for pattern on Cricut Maker. So a cute little llama, llama. A cute little cacti. I did get a little crooked up there, but that's all right. Very pretty. And this was the project I worked on today. It's a water bottle and the cute little rose design. This was a paid for pattern on Etsy. And those were the two things that made with my Cricut today as well. So I, again, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of the weekend. Talk to you Tuesday. Bye.